What's going on everyone? So we just had the first Tekken talk of like the post-launch Tekken 8 game and they revealed basically like the future roadmap for a bunch of upcoming updates. It wasn't like a super big announcement. We didn't get like any like specifics like balance patch updates or like anything like that, but they did like reveal a bunch of the stuff they're working on going down the road from like the most recent update that's coming soon to like some further stuff down the road and it ended with an Eddie reveal. So I'm just going to be qu quickly recapping that for anyone who doesn't want to watch the hour and a half because I reacted to it live in my stream. It was very long. It was very long and there was a lot of fluff. So as you can see on the screen, we're starting with the second official update. This is going to come. They did not give a specific date, which is very important. They said between the end of February and the beginning of March. That's what they said. It's actually pretty interesting. I like this, that they're not giving a specific date because they're not like pushing deadlines. Like they're like basically saying, if we do need more time, we'll give ourselves more time. We have like some leeway in this date. So no specific date yet, but as you can see there, in-game collaboration, which doesn't whatever, there's a new feature called Tekken Shop. So there's actually a full like in-game shop, like like in all these other games like this. Um, it's basically, you pay real life money. They said it was about $4 per skin. So it's kind of like similar to a bunch of other multiplayer games. Um, in my opinion, $4, or whatever your currency is, but it'll be like the equivalent, $4 for just one skin in Tekken to me is like way overpriced. But they did say they're, they're using that money to help like develop the game and work on costs like that. So I guess it does make a little bit more sense in that respect. But yeah, fully in-game shop. They said they're going to update it about every month, or like once every month, twice every month. There's going to be like custom events, like they're doing the uh, special like Unicolo event at first and as you can see in the bottom right there's like custom like legacy skins like there's Tekken 4 Jin, um, Tag 2 June so like they're, it's going to do well. Like People are going to buy that. I, I was talking about it on my stream. As soon as they add the Bikini Reina skin, that's going to just make millions from horny people immediately. So much money. But yeah, there's the Tekken shop. They didn't, like I said, they didn't go over in specific what the balance changes would be, but they did say a couple things, as you can see here. Victor's throw escape windows are being looked at. Thank God. Alice's follow-up to brute force attack. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea. I haven't really played against any Alice's yet. Not sure about that one. And But chain throw is becoming unbreakable a punish is also being looked at so these things are going to be fixed for the update thank god they really needed to specifically king just getting like 100 damage off of a, a punish chain throw yeah it's gonna need that needed to be fixed and it's gonna be fixed which is which is pretty great um i'm pretty happy about that in terms of other stuff we did get some other stuff um mainly there was like well they talked about like a lot of stuff that's gonna be happening in the future like a long time in the future but some of them are like uh like recent stuff that's going to happen. They said the next update is going to be like in April and there's going to be one in May or beyond. Um, they're adding a photo mode. They're adding a game quit button on the main menu, which is whatever, not a big deal. They're, they said that the DLC characters will get their own story modes, like their own like special story segments. And even if you don't buy the character, you can still access it. So they're going to be making, I'm guessing like new cutscenes, new fight scenarios, but with the DLC characters, which is pretty cool. They also showed as a thing of Eddie, um, on the, like the home screen. So you know how Kazia is like usually, I can just show it here, I have an image of it. Um, they said that it's gonna be like the latest DLC character is gonna be on there, I think, as you can see here. This is from uh, Hi Buff Gigas, go check him out. But they did say they are looking into you being able to like change it to any character you want in the future. So that could possibly be coming later. Um, they, they did at least mention it, so that's something worth noting. The, like I said, there's a bunch of other like crazy stuff they talked about. Harada was saying 3v3 or 5v5 game modes in the future. That sounds pretty crazy. Um, there's the super ghost battle mode where like ghosts can fight each other. Like, you know how you can like train your ghost? You can train, you play your ghost against someone else's ghost. They're going to add that in the future. Um, they mentioned an online training mode they're working on. So like you can play training mode with your friends who are like really far away. That's a really cool update. Not going to lie. I'm that, That's like, that would be amazing. Um, they did a whole section talking about plugging and how they're working on a, an issue, but it's not that simple because they don't want to get sued for banning people. In my opinion, pretty lame. Um, I talked about this on stream and I'm going to make a full video addressing it. But in my opinion, there's a really simple solution to the plugging. And that's literally just, if you plug, make it just count as a loss. You lose 300 points and your opponent wins 300. Super simple. We don't need to ban people. If plugging just counts as a loss, then no one's going to plug anymore on purpose. You don't need to have, like ban people. It's just people will just stop plugging if they lose. Because I think the whole issue of plugging is just because you, you don't get a loss, right? So... Yeah, pretty disappointing, but they did say they're looking into it. They have a list of people that are, they're thinking of banning right now. So be careful. You don't want to get on Harada's, uh, Harada's naughty list. But 
that's basically been it. They did a showcase of Eddie at the very end. Um, I'm going to make a whole video on that separately, but you, if you just search up like Eddie showcase, you'll find a ton of that stuff on YouTube. He looks really cool. He has like a new level up system. Like he gets, he gains levels to make his attack stronger. Um, super cool looking character. He's going to be very gimmicky. I was saying that on my stream as well. If you're new, get ready to be cheese a lot and ranked, but that's the nature of Eddie. He's a really cool character. I'm, I'm growing on his design a lot more. So that's all the major stuff that were announced in this update pretty much. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, and subscribe for more updates and let me know in the comments, like, what do you guys think about this? Um, the tech and talk was a bit long in my opinion. It was quite a bit too long, but still enjoyable and still interesting in seeing like, what's the future, like what's in store for the future of Tekken. So that's going to be about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.